Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Vienna for the 159th meeting of the OPEC conference. I should like to extend a special welcome to three ministers who have been appointed since our meeting in December and who are. Therefore, attending the OPEC conference for the first time as heads of their country's delegations. They are His Excellency Abdul Karim Rohebi Bahede, who is Minister of Oil of Iraq. His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Al Bosari, who is Minister of Oil and the Estates Minister of National Assembly Affairs of Kuwait. And His Excellency Dr. Mohammed bin Saleh Al Sada, who is the Minister of Energy and Industry of Qatar. At the same time, let us extend a welcome to His Excellency Engineer Guni Musa Sheikh, Nigeria Governor for OPEC, who is leading his country's delegation to our meeting. We look forward to their wise counsel in our discussion. Let me take this opportunity also to record the organization's appreciation to their predecessor and wish them very success and happiness in the future. His Excellency Dr. Hossein Al Shahristani for Iraq. His Excellency Sheikh Ahmed Al Abdullah Al Ahmed Al Sabah for Kuwait. And His Excellency Abdullah bin Hamid Al Atiyah for Qatar. Today, we shall look at developments in the international oil market since our last meeting in, K on, in Quito on 11th December. This period has been, has been marked by high levels of volatility and an upward trend in prices. On several occasions in April, 2011, the price of the OPEC reference basket topped 120 US dollars a barrel. Then early May saw a reverse. With the sharpest weekly price decline of record, as both WTI and Brent lost almost $17 a barrel. How 